Hi, I'm Lori Sutton. Today is Monday, April 6th. Welcome back to One on One. This morning, in reviewing the past few days of this pandemic, I am struck by the moral courage demonstrated by so many of our frontline leaders, nurses, doctors, warehouse workers, delivery drivers, individuals who have stood up and spoken truth to power, no matter the personal risk or cost. One such leader is U.S. Navy Captain Brett Crozier. Until last week, Captain Crozier served as the commanding officer for the Navy aircraft carrier Theodore Roosevelt. When faced with alarming spread of the COVID virus among his sailors, Captain Crozier stood up and spoke truth to power, and for that he has paid an enormous price. Beyond the current debate and controversy concerning his decision, one thing stands perfectly clear. Captain Crozier's actions lie squarely within the honorable tradition of his ship's namesake, Theodore Roosevelt. This morning, Tweed Roosevelt, great-grandson of T.R., wrote an op-ed in which he detailed his great-grandfather's actions during the Spanish-American War. Now, T.R. commanded the Rough Riders. The war was over. It had been won. And now a more deadly enemy surfaced. Malaria and yellow fever. When T.R. couldn't get the swift response he needed to save and protect his troops, he wrote a letter. It was called the Round Robin Letter. It was published everywhere. T.R. paid a price, hundreds of troops' lives were saved, and Theodore Roosevelt went on to lead. So, Captain Crozier, thank you for your leadership, for your moral courage. I wish you and your family well. Godspeed to you. And just know this, your service to our nation is not over. Not by a long shot. Thank you. That's it for today. See you soon on One on One.